You must have used pandas for data analysis or data pre-processing, but you can also use it with llama index. You can also view the documentation here. So if you read here, convert natural language to pandas Python code using LLMs. In this video, we will see how we can use this pandas query engine and using this, we can run our query with this help of this pandas. So let's go and see how this works. First of all, I will create one LLM and I will use Mistral AI. So let's import OS. Then from get pass, import get pass. So this we will use to save our API keys. Now I'm going to create environment variable. I will write here HF underscore token. So HF stands for hugging face token. And then I will call this get pass. And then I will press enter. Now I have to put my API keys here. So you can go to your hugging face account go to access token and here you will see your access token. I will copy this from here and then I will paste it here. So let me paste it here. Now I can create LLM model. I will create a variable or first of all, I will import from llama index dot LLMs dot hugging face import hugging face inference api and then i will make a variable llm and then i will call this hugging face inference api inside this my first parameter is model name and then i have to pass model name here in single or double quotes I'll go to hugging face. I'll check for Mistral here. And I will use this one, Mistral AI. I'll copy it from here, then go to my notebook, paste it here. And then the next parameter is token. And in token, I will pass this variable here where I have saved the token. I will write it here HF token and then I will print this LLM. So I have created this LLM that I am going to use when I will run queries. Now let's use this pandas. So we will import pandas as PD, import pandas as PD, and then from llama index dot experimental dot query engine dot pandas import pandas query engine let's import it now i'm going to read one csv file and on that csv file we will run this pandas query this is very interesting you will really enjoy and you will see how interesting it is to run this pandas query and get the result automatically here you don't have to call pandas function here you just have to write your natural language text and pandas will do the calculation automatically and you will get the result so it's quite interesting let's see first i will make a variable df then i will call here pd dot read underscore csv Inside this, I will pass the CSV file name, which is city.csv and then I will check df.head. Let's see. So here in the output, you can see this is my CSV file name. Uh, this is my CSV file and in this I have two columns. The first column is city. The second one is population in cities. We have different cities here and in population, we are given population of these cities. We can also check tail, what kind of cities we have in last five. So we have these uh, cities in the last five records. Now let's start this pandas query engine. So for that, first I will make one variable 
that is query underscore engine and then I will call this pandas query engine that I have imported here so I will write here pandas query engine or I can simply copy this from here and then paste it because I don't know why this tab is not working for me now inside this our first parameter is going to be this data frame so I will write here data frame is equal to df or df is equal to df the second parameter is going to be our LLM model that we have created here because this pandas query engine will use LLM so I will write here LLM is equal to LLM and then one more parameter verbose we will set this as true so we can see what is happening visually our query engine is ready and now we can start querying and we will save the response in a variable called as response so here we will have this output and then we will call this query engine from this we will call the function query and now let's write our first query I will write here what is the population of let's say we will ask one of these cities so I'll ask this Seattle I will copy it from here and then I will paste it here and in the output I should get this number because the population of Seattle is uh, this one so let's see what I get let us execute our code now here in the output it says 20099604 and here also you can see the population of Seattle is exactly same 20099604 so what it does it will go here it will use this function location it will check at location 1 or index 1 and then it will check the population and it got the correct output so this is the population of Seattle so now you see the difference in pandas you have to call these functions df.loc dot population maximum so on so on but here you have to write a text pandas will do all the functions all the calculations automatically and it will give you the result now let's write other another question so i will just copy this from here and paste it here now i will ask the question what is the maximum population and let's see so it says that the maximum population is this 1473020 now i want to know since this is a maximum population so which city belongs to this maximum population I will write another query I'll just paste it again here and now this time my query will be I'll write here what city has the maximum population give city name in our previous query here we got the maximum population but we don't know which city has the maximum population and in this query we are asking please tell me the city name which has the maximum population let's see what we get on the output so we got the output here it says that memphis i don't know how to pronounce the city name this city has the maximum population so now let's validate whether this city really has the maximum population so we'll write one more query I'll paste it here again and now I will write what is the population of this city Memphis and let's see if the output gets the same number that is this number or not so let us execute our code 
and we got the same output here so that means the information is correct this city has the maximum population and our query is working fine here giving us a great result now i'll tell you in this csv file there are no duplicate cities so i'm going to ask one more query whether there are any duplicate cities so i'll paste that query again the first one and now i will change the sentence i will write are there duplicate city i know that there are no duplicates but i want this query engine to give me the correct output i'll execute the code now it says false that means it's correct there are no duplicate cities in this uh, csv file and you see what uh, operation it is doing so it is going on df of city then it will check whether there are any duplicates and it got the result as false now let's write one more query and this time we will ask what are the cities starting with alphabet a so let's paste that query this one again and now let's edit this query so i will write here what are the city starting with alphabet a now let's see if we get the correct output or not and then this time i will copy this query here and now let us execute our code so in the output you see we got these cities here so what function it calls it will go here df of city then string and then starts with a and here we got the output atlanta austin and this last one now let us copy this query and then paste it and now instead of a let me ask with s so let us execute our code and here you see what a great result we are getting so these are the city names which are starting from s seattle san antonio san jose san francisco and so on so we are getting really quite good result now so far and let's do one one or two more query so i will copy this from here and paste it here and this time i will ask let me edit this i will say sort city in ascending order let's see if it does this or not so here in the output we got a really quite interesting result so now these cities are in the ascending order starting from m then we have k v okay so it is doing this um, this ascending order uh, based on i think this population yes so it is based on the population uh, but not in city so i will write here okay this becomes sorting i will write here sort and yeah now you can see uh, we have this cities in ascending order starting from a so we have starting from um, this i don't know what city name this is then we have this atlant so that's how you can use this partners query engine and you will get really good results it will really help you a lot you don't have to call these functions manually instead of this llm will call these functions for you i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching